Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial video where we will deal with electrical accessories, specifically multiple gang sockets and switches. These will be placed on the plan. Finally, we will develop a lighting plan. First, we will place sockets with IT socket on the wall behind the TV. Next we will place sockets and switches on the left wall, which will be connected to the lamps. Let's get to work. We're going to work on this project. I use interior, electrical accessory, customized items. I turn on the dressable muinting, plate plus gang units option and specify the number of gang solutions, which will be three. In this plate, we'll have different functions, so I switch off the equal gang units option. You also need to select the direction, it can be horizontal or vertical. Here I choose horizontal. In the next tab, I specify the function of each unit. The first unit will be a socket, so I select the simple socket. I click to the second one, that will also be a socket. I can also use the arrows to switch between the elements. The third unit will be an IT socket. In the next tab, I specify the image of the units, which can be different. In this case, the same image for all units option must be switched off. I select the materials either from my favorites or by clicking on the plus button in the material library. In electrical accessories, in the switches and socket subcategory, you will find images of sockets. I select the SE socket outlet, so this will be the material for the first unit. I click to the second one and give it the same image. And for the third unit, I'll select a data socket. On the third tab I can specify the frontal profile of the units, the width and the height will be 60 millimeters. When it's done, we can move on to the next tab, where we set the plate. You can assign any color to the frame. For example, let's look at the RAL colors, I choose a gray one first, but in the end, I choose the Legrand Valine white inner one. In the next tab, I'll specify the shape of the frame. Click on the plus button to choose between different shapes. For example, you can choose a rounded frame, but here I'll choose the simple frame. I change the size, both width and height will be 82 millimeters. I have to specify the distance between the units, which is the offset. I go back to the first tab and here the offset will be 75 millimeters. So I get the triple plate with the different functions. I save it to the library on the last tab by clicking save, save as. The name will be 3 simple IT. The category will be switches and sockets, the subcategory will be other, then I hit OK. It's in the library now. I put it on the wall behind the TV. Let's look at the floor plan to check where it is. The base elevation is 1200 millimeters. You can change this if you need. You can also change its position on the wall afterwards. To do this, just rewrite the number on the dimension. It will be 2300 millimeters from the left wall corner. Let's go back to the 3D. We can't see it because the TV is covering it. I'll hide the TV, so you can see the finished accessory. Next I'm going to place switches and sockets on the left wall. I switch to another view. Now I go back to the floor plan and I will work here. I use the interior, electrical accessory, customized items. I turn on the dressable muinting, plate plus gang units option. The number of gang solutions will be three. The first one is a two gang one way switch. The second is a single pole switch and the third is a dimmer switch. For the switches, I need to specify the number of ways, which will be four. I turn off the equal gang units. The direction will be horizontal. In the second tab, you need to set the functions of the units. The first one will be a two gang one way switch. I click on the plus button to select the two gang one way switch from the library. The next unit will be a single pole switch and the third will be a single pole dimmer switch. 
In the next tab, I specify the image assigned to the unit. In this case, the same image for all units option must be deactivated. I select the image from the material library by clicking on the plus button. The first switch will be an SE2 circuit switch. The second will be an SE rocker switch. And the third will be an SE LED dimmer. On the next tab I set the dimensions. The width and height will be 60 mm. Next comes the plate setting. Here again I choose the Legrand Valine white inner material. In the next tab I enter the dimensions. Width and height are 82 mm. In the settings I set the distance between the elements. The offset is 75 mm. We are done with this too. I save to the library with the name three switches. Again, the category is switches and sockets and the subcategory is other. I click OK to accept it, then it's in the library. I close it with the OK and place it on the wall 250 mm from the wall corner. Let's look at the 3D. I go back to the floor plan. I will continue the work here. Lower part of the wall will place three sockets at a height of 400 mm. I will again use the interior, electrical accessory, customized items command. Here I will also select the dressable mounting, plate plus gang units. The number of units is three. The equal gang units option remains enabled because now I put three sockets in the plate. In the second tab I select the simple socket. This will apply to all three elements, as I have selected the equal gang units. I will select the SE socket outlet for materials. In the third tab I also rewrite the dimensions to 60 mm. In the next tab I set the properties of the plate. I choose the Legrand Valine white inner material. The width and the height of the plate will be 82 mm. On the first tab I set the offset to 75 mm. It's done. I save it to the library under the name 3 socket. The category here is also switches and sockets and the subcategory is other. On the floor plan I put it on the wall in the same place where the switches are. I will modify this. I select it and rewrite the base elevation on the left side to 400 mm. It's OK now. The symbols of the switches and the sockets are now on top of each other on the floor plan, so we have to move one of the symbols. It is important that only the symbol is moved but the socket itself remains in place. There are two ways to do this. I can right click on the symbol, and in the local menu I choose Edit 2D, Shift Symbol. Or I can choose the Electrical Accessory menu, Edit 2D, Shift Symbol Command. In the second case, we have to select the symbol and move it along the auxiliary line. So the symbols no longer overlap. You can change this afterwards by clicking on the Shift Symbol marker. We have finished placing the switches and sockets. The next step is to dimension the electrical accessories on the wall. To get a better view of the floor plan, I'm going to turn off the furniture and decoration layers. To do this, I use the layer walk. In the floor plan, only the electrical accessories and lights will appear from among the interior elements. I choose the switches on sockets location relative to the wall command in the electrical accessory menu. I select the wall to dimension and place the dimension line. The command is still active, so I select the next wall and place the second dimension line. I'll also measure the height of the accessories, which can be found under the electrical accessory menu. I will select the manage elevations command. Here I have the option to manage all elevations or one by one. I will manage now all at once. The program generates automatically the height scales. I can modify it later. 
I click on it and use the move text free command to move the text. Extension lines can be modified by using the edit extension line command. I'll modify the text a little bit here, and we're done. The last step is to connect the switches to the lights, but there are more settings to be made. First, we need to define which symbols should be associated with the lamps. In lighting plan menu, settings, we can see the default settings. I will not change these. Next it is necessary to determine the type of connecting elements to be used, when we connect the lamps and switches. Connecting element can be a line, arc or text. Text is used for complex layouts. Here I will choose line. I can also specify the line style. Hit OK. We have to specify the lighting fixture. There are two ways to do this. I can click on the lamp and in the properties in the lighting fixture we can see, that is ceiling. If it's not a ceiling light, we can change it. The other option is under lighting menu, lighting fixture command. Here I choose ceiling lamp and then I select all the lamps that should be ceiling lamps. If it's done, I close it by pressing enter. As a check, I select one light and properties shows that the lighting fixture is ceiling light. The next step will be to switch lighting fixture from a top view to a symbolic representation on the floor plan. This will be done using the lighting plan, switch lighting fixture symbolic and top view representation command. Now the lamps will appear on the floor plan with the symbolic representation. The next step is how to connect the switches to the lamps. There are two ways to do this. One is the lighting plan, assignment of switches and lamps command. I'll select this one. You need to specify which switch will be connected to which lamp. Here I select this switch and connect it with the spotlight. Now I'll exit the command and show you the other method. If I click on a switch, it will show the ways, also known as poles. Here, the three switches have four ways. What is marked in red shows that it is already connected to a light. The blue ones indicate three ways. So I click on the next blue pole and then click on assignment of switches and lamps. I select the other spotlight and connect it to the switch. I go ahead, click again on the next blue pole, assignment of switches and lamps, select the lamp and connect it to the second switch. The last one is the dimmer switch. I'll select the blue way here again, assignment of switches and lamps, then select the lamp and connect it to this dimmer switch. These connecting elements can also be modified. For example, we can change the color to blue, making the lighting plan more transparent. We are done. This is how easy it is to create a lighting and switching plan. Let's look at these switches in 3D. I'll switch to another view. This brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.